Hello there everyone. Today I'm going to share with you a haul and what I have is I got some materials for a specific project so I want to share with you what they are and also what my ideas are which will be coming up in some future tutorials and then I also recently went to a bead and gem show so also I picked up just a few things from there and I really enjoyed that so let's get going. So then the first things I want to go through here is a batch of seed beads and I want to just go through them on a project base just to give you an idea of what the different ones are meant for so the ideas that I have. The first ones here are these Edo Miyuki seed beads in blue tones and alongside them I also here have some 15-0 Miyuki seed beads just in white and then as well I have some 4mm bicones and these are a nice crystal AB colour. So what my idea is with these is this is all for the same project and it's for a bracelet so it's similar to something I've done before it's actually this and also another version but here I have the rainbow version and my idea was that I wanted to make basically this principle with the blue colours instead of the rainbow colours and just have it be kind of ombre in behind there and then I want to use these beads there instead of the black ones to make the excess just because there would be nice contrast for the background there in the blue tones instead and then I thought these beads here, so the bicones in a nice kind of neutral but still with nice sparkle along the edge instead of the black ones. So that's my thought with these ones here to create like an ombre effect with this bracelet but just in blue tones in this case obviously. And then I got the same beads as well here but just in black and white colour and my idea with that was to make a similar bracelet again as to this one in rainbow and then the one I want to do in the blue tones but basically in monochrome effect so just with the black and white behind the axis but then alternating so white black white black and then the opposite colour as the axis there on top of that specific one so that's my thought with that and then I got the same beads again but in a different colour as well and this is a purple colour it's called Duracoat Silver Lined Orchid and I was really happy to see this because this was a new one that they added to their inventory. So what I've thought for a long time is that in general purple seed beads are really hard to come by. It's like really nice purple colours and a lot of different tones. So I saw these and I instantly thought that I have to have them because it's a really beautiful purple. And it'll go so nicely with a lot of other things obviously. And what I thought with these was I made this bracelet with obviously capturing the cabochon. But then I really liked how the size turned out, so what I kind of thought was making a whole bracelet just with that design there, but all the way along. And I thought these would look nice, using it as seed beads in the braids, but then obviously with the other beads as well, with the super duos there. But what I then wanted to do was make a non-embellished version, so just like the side is here, but then also an actual embellished version where I add embellishment on each side there as well. And then I could also, I thought, use these nice bicones because they add that lovely bit of sparkle and they'll go with anything, especially that purple tone. So that's what I thought with these, I really love this colour. The next two beads here then are these, so also some seed beads, and these are meant for a Kamehameha necklace that I've been doing, wanting to do for a while. So what these are is this colour here, these are 8 O's, and this is Opaque Cobalt AB, and then here I have 11 O's, and the Silver Light Duracode Violet, and then the final ones here are actually super duos, and these are satin metallic plum. And what I wanted to do is basically a necklace version of a bracelet and a pair of earrings that I've done before. So it's this one here, and these are the earrings. And I wanted to, like I said, do a necklace version of this design with kind of this lace effect. And I also then have these bicones to add in. As you can see, I have them on there just for the extra embellishment and the extra bling. The problem I had was when I wanted to look for the beads that I want to use for the necklace these ones here obviously the main ones for the braid but they're actually not the same ones as I used on the other ones so the earrings and the bracelet because they seem like they don't sell that colour anymore so what this is, it's the same basic colour so it's an opaque cobalt AB but this one here and the bracelet is a matte version and I think these are nice but I do actually prefer the matte version of it I really like that one and they still have some other matte beads but just not this specific colour, so I was a little bit disappointed with that but then I thought obviously that would be the next best thing to keep it in the same colour scheme so I'm just going to have to use these ones here for the necklace version and still obviously use the other same colours there in the other beads so then the next couple of beads here I also got aren't really meant for specific projects so what these are are just some that I saw would be really nice stables to have in my stash so these first of all here are some super duos 
these specific ones are white pearl satin. I really like, obviously the colour itself, a white one, is really good for so many different things. But I really like this finish, that satin finish. And then here I have some 11 O's and the Duracoat Galvanized Silver. Again, they're great stable because obviously both of these will really go with anything else. So you can combine them with so many other different colours. So I got them just purely to have a moustache. So all the beads that I showed you up until now, I all got from the same place. And that place is highlystrongbeads.co.uk. Now I use them quite a lot. I find they have pretty good choice and also decent prices and actually a pretty good service as well. So if you want to go there and have a look, I'm going to see about putting the link to that in the description box below. But that's where I got all the beads from up until now. So then the next few beads that I got here are from a different place. And that's these ones. So they're all the same. So these are all super duos. So what I wanted to do is, I wanted to do a beaded bracelet where I want to use Superdues really as the main bead. So obviously that's an idea I have that I want to do. But what I wanted, I had in my head, was kind of a specific colour of Superdues. And I couldn't really seem to find it anywhere. I didn't even really know if it existed. But then, eventually, I finally found one place, and that's here from where I got these from. And it was this blue one. So obviously I've seen loads of different blue Superdues. But what I was, the colour that I had specifically in my head was like a nice deep and rich blue but then with a bit of like a metallicish finish and that's exactly what I had in my head I finally found these ones here so I'm really happy that I did find them and then once I saw them on that website I saw that they had some other colours in that same finish so I thought I kinda had to get them because I really like that finish so obviously there's the blue one so I got a few of them to make sure that I have enough especially for that project but also to use for some other things and then they had a purple one also a really nice finish and this really nice pink one it's just so vibrant and here I have they call this a burnt copper again a really nice finish that metallic hint on the colour it just really adds something extra to them and again finally there's this one here which is a turquoise so it's a bit similar to that pink where it's really vibrant in the colour itself and then that finish just adds to it so I got these ones here Mainly the blue ones with a specific project in mind, but then obviously Super Duos I use a lot, especially with my Kumihimo projects as well, designs. So I just like having a nice selection in them, and obviously a fair few of some of my favourite colours. But then also I got some Swarovski crystals here, and these are bicones, because that bracelet that I have in mind, the design I want to do with these blue ones, I wanted to use something like this along the edge to add, add kind of an extra sparkle to the piece, so it wasn't just the uh, colour of the Super Duos, but I had some extra sparkle. So I thought these ones here would work. And obviously I tried it out and they worked nicely in size, but then I wanted to have the crystal colour, but then in an A, B, so it had, just really adds a really beautiful sparkle. So you still have the main colour as a focus, but then they add that lovely beautiful sparkle. So that's my idea with these two combined. But then obviously the Super Duos in general, I'm just going to have them in moustache and I can use them with so many other different projects. And I then want to show you the few things that I got when I recently went to a gem and bead show. So that was my very first time going to one of these shows. So the main reason I went was really just for the experience, to see what it was like. But then I did find a few things that I couldn't really resist. So I picked up a few findings and then also two strands of gemstones. And it's these ones here, the first ones. So the strands of gemstones. And I saw these and I just really could not resist them because I'd never seen anything like this before. So it's completely new to me. These are actually rose gold hematite gemstone strands and I think they're absolutely beautiful. At first when I saw them, I was a bit unsure was this really hematite, but it is and they just coat it in rose gold. And I've never seen this before. So what I have here, the larger ones are 4mm rounds. So I love that size to work with for different designs as well. It's really useful. And the smaller ones here are 2mm rounds. And again, I use these a lot as well. So I really love the smaller size beads. But then this coating, I just really fell for it straight away because it's so beautiful. Just this lovely rose gold finish and coating, obviously. And also hematite in general is a bit of a weakness of mine. I love just hematite, but also coated hematite in loads of different colours. So I did ask him, and this was something new that they got in. So I'm hoping that it's only going to become more. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get more sizes, different sizes, but also more of these in the future. Because I definitely would love to get more of these. They're really, really beautiful. And then the findings I got from the show were these things here. So first of all, I have some lots of claw clasps. And then I have some chain. 
and then I have some Kamehameha ends, some jump rings in some different sizes, and then also finally here I have some stardust beads in a beautiful bright copper. Now I do use copper quite a lot more and more, obviously alongside silver still, but findings in copper is something I find quite hard to get most of the time. So for instance clasps and chain, I really struggle finding in really nice colours though because you can find antique copper but I don't really like that, I prefer the bright copper. So I struggled finding that for so long so I saw they had a few things here and also Kumihimu ends and beautiful bright and even the stardust beads usually are easy to find in silver but the copper I thought was quite unusual and I thought I would try some different jump rings there. You can never try too many of them because the quality is quite different from jump ring to jump ring I think so I'm curious to see how these are going to hold up quality wise but I found this chain and it's really nice so it's a beautiful colour just how I like the chain to be but actually this will be perfect to use as extender chain as well so you can use it alongside the clasps obviously but sometimes a chain might be nice but the length might be too small to actually use with a clasp so as extender chain so that's why I especially wanted that as well but obviously the colour but then use it as extender chain alongside for instance lots of claw clasps then so I've been finding some recently but I just like kind of getting some different ones because they also have different tones in the copper so having different ones doesn't hurt so I got this just to kind of try some new things but also see what works so make sure I have some different copper findings for when I make copper jewellery now then after the first beach show that I went to and where I got the things that I just showed you shortly after I went to another one so I also got a few things there and what they were is really some gemstones both in some strands but then also some other forms the first ones here actually some kind of cabochon like things and these are florite gemstones I saw these and just fell for them immediately I think they're really beautiful they're actually a full on rectangle so they're not domed or anything on one side you can see but they're not sharp or anything so they don't hurt but I just thought they're really beautiful purple first of all is obviously my favourite colour so I fell for that but then just the different tones and the way they look florite is one of my favourites anyway but also what attracted me is just flip that one around my instant thought with these were to basically use them for probably wire work and use them as you could say a background and I kind of saw it as a little bit maybe the sea down here and then you could have the sky going upwards so you can make something on top of this and make kind of a scene I was thinking so maybe something like a tree of life where the tree could be in the foreground and then you have this as a beautiful background I just thought they would look really beautiful or obviously something else so that was my thought with these and I just kind of had to get two because I really like the different tones of this purple as well. And then I also got some strands of gemstones like I said and these three here I got from the same place and they are all something that I already have but in different ways. So these ones here are purple hematite and the reason I got these is because I already have quite a bit of purple hematite but in different sizes so some larger and smaller beads but these are 3 mil, and that's pretty much the only size that I don't have them in. I don't think I have them in 2 mil either, but I have them from 4 mil and above with this colour. And that's the first time I've seen them in 3 mil, because usually it's the blue coated I can find in 3 mil or the plain hematite colour. So I thought I'd have to get a couple of strands of them, because I really love 3 mil hematite from so many different things. And then obviously purple being my favourite colour, I had to get them, because the holes are quite generous compared to a lot of other gemstones for small beads. So I find they work really well with different things like wire work, macrame. So I really like having them in my stash. And then this one here is a Druzy quartz strand and obviously blue coated. I already have a couple of strands like this but they're different sizes as well so they're all larger. Where these ones here are actually smaller than what I have. These ones I think about 8mm. All the ones I have are about, I think, 10 or 12 mil and above, so they're quite large and sometimes it would be nice to have them obvious a little bit more user-friendly sizes. So that's why I had to get a strand of them as well, because I really do love this druzy effect. I really love druzy in general. It's something I'm very attracted to. And in some of them, you get really beautiful effects on there. That's what really attracts me. That sparkle, and then obviously blue colour is really beautiful. So those are the three strands I just really like to have in my stash. And then the final two things from that show are also, you could call them some strands, but these are hematite collar shaped beads, you could say, because obviously there's holes in them, but they hang like this, so they kind of have this collar shape 
whether it's for a necklace or whatever you had in mind. I have had a few of these before and I've used them, but it's a quite a long time ago, but I am attracted to them. I think they look really nice and obviously I love my hematite and coated hematite. And I saw these, I had them in loads of colours and I thought the price was actually really good. So I thought I'll get some while I was there. So I got the blue and the silver and it was really just with having them in my stash. So in case I come up with an idea to maybe use them a little bit differently, whether it's maybe with some wire work or macrame I had in mind. Previously what I did make was instead of using them as a bracelet, I did make, sorry, instead of using them as a necklace, I actually made them into a bracelet like that and I thought that also gives a really nice effect. So I just thought it would be nice for the price as well to have in my stash. And then obviously the blue colour and the silver, I think are the... Silver can always go with everything and the blue is just a really beautiful metallic blue colour there. So those I got as well, just in case I could come up with something at some point. So I know I have them in my stash. So those were the things that I got from the bead show. So you can see just a nice little selection of a few things that I find quite interesting. And also looking forward to using and trying out. So then what I got as well here is, you could call some findings really, so it's these clips. What these are actually is shoe clips, because I got the idea recently that I wanted to try and do something a bit different, jewelry wise, but then I thought of shoe clips, so I thought it would be perfect to get some of these. And these are big ones and these are small ones, just to kind of have a nice selection depending on the design that I make, what suits best, and obviously the shoes as well. I'm just taking some out here, These are, this is what they look like. So you have the big one and you just open it up and then it clips, obviously you attach whatever you made and it clips onto the shoe and sits nicely and the same with the small one, just kind of a smaller version if it's a bit of a more delicate design and that's what they're like. So I've already got a design coming up with these here, a wirework one for some shoe clips so keep an eye out for that but otherwise I want to do more of this in the future as well, also within different mediums. And then finally, the last thing I've got that I want to share with you is some cord. So I've been wanting to kind of expand my cord collection for a while. So different thicknesses, but then also more different colours, just to have more choice. Because first of all, the different thicknesses for different projects, but then also obviously the colours, just depending how you want that project to look. And I really like the way that these came, how they're packaged there. Nice little box. So thinking about maybe keeping them in there for now. Open it up. And then these are all kind of purple tones, obviously some red as well, but that's kind of the pack that I bought first time around and I want to keep buying these packs where you then buy different colour tones so there'll be like a green family and then a blue box and just buy them like that I think is a really nice way to actually expand my collection and what these are, these are actually Eslon and they're the thicker cord that I do like to use a lot for macrame so I have a nice range of some tones there now, really like this purple one really nice and bright, beautiful. So this is kind of the beginning and I'm going to keep buying these boxes as well. I want to collect different thicknesses, like I said, also like the thinner cord of the Eslon and Ceylon. I use that for a lot for Kumihimo as well and I match the colour with the beads quite often, but also these for the macrame. So just to get that different choice, but then the cute little boxes I think. So those are nice little extras. So I want to definitely get more cord in the next while. So that was it for this little haul here. I really hope that you enjoyed it and you're looking forward to some of the things that I've got coming up. I'm looking forward to experimenting with it and making it all and obviously do the tutorials as well. So thank you very much for watching.